Hey guys, Harry here from Aero. Today I'm going to be walking you through how to save drop points with your Aero Pro. Now saving drop points allows you to automatically program the drone to fly back to these points all by itself. This is particularly useful if you're drone fishing and you want to be targeting the same spot. Now it's important to note that when you are using this feature, it will only work by pressing the payload release button in the app. If you press the button on the back of your remote, you won't be given this option on the screen. So now we're all baited up. First thing we're going to do is fly out to where we want to drop out bait. So now we've reached our drop point. We're going to press the payload release button on our screen here. And when we press this, we're going to be given the option to save our drop point. So we're gonna hit yes, drop and save. So now that we've dropped our bait, all we need to do is hit return to home on the remote, the drone will fly back to the beach, and then we'll get ready to go back out to that same drop point on our next flight. Oh, I see the whale out there. So after we've saved our drop point, we can then access it by opening the map in the bottom left of the screen here. So if we tap on that, we'll see where we are and we'll see our blue pin, which is where we've just saved our drop point. So if we tap on the drop point that we've just set in the app, it'll open up a bunch of parameters that we need to set before we fly back to this drop point. So the first thing we can see here is our drop point height. And this is gonna be the height that we first dropped the bait at when we saved our drop point. Now we can keep this as is, or if you feel like you need to adjust it to the conditions, you can do that by using the slider on the screen. So the second thing we can see here is the speed, and this is currently set at five meters a second. Whenever you're flying out with a payload, we recommend keeping this under 10 meters a second. So this drop point save feature will only work when the drone is already airborne. So the next thing we need to do is get our drone back up in the air, and then we'll be ready to hit go, and the drone's gonna fly back out to that drop point that we've saved. One other important thing to remember is once the drone flies back out to the saved drop point, it's not gonna drop the bait automatically. So we'll either need to press the release button on the back of our remote, or the button in the app to drop the bait. So now I've got our drone up to a good height. All we need to do is hit go, and the drone is going to fly back out to that safe drop point. Let's drop our bait. And now all we need to do is hit return to home on our remote and the drone's gonna fly back to us. So that's it guys. Hope you've learned a bit more about how to use the drop point feature with your Aero Pro. If you have any questions, drop us a comment and we'll get back to you. And as always, like and subscribe so you can see more future content from us. Cheers.